So in this example, you need to figure out the empirical formula, once again for a compound that's made up of sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen, and we're going to be using data, the masses of each element in the compound, to figure out its formula. So let's start with sodium. We have 103.5 grams of sodium, but that doesn't help us because we really need moles, because the empirical formula is the simplest whole number mole ratio. So we got to convert grams to moles. So we're going to put 23 grams here, because that's how many grams are in one mole of sodium. We look on the periodic table for that information. And when you do the math here, you end up with 4.5 moles. Now when we do oxygen, we have 72.0 grams. You look on the periodic table, and one mole of oxygen weighs 16.0 grams. Do the math, and once again we get 4.5 moles. Looks like those two are a one-to-one -one ratio. And finally, we have hydrogen. We start with 4.5 grams, 5 oh grams, and we look on the periodic table and realize that one mole of hydrogen has a molar mass of 1.0 grams. 4.50 times 1 divided by 1 is 4.5. This is working out nicely. Now, if you look at this quickly, you can tell that this is a 1 to 1 to 1 ratio. So it looks like they're all going to hook up on a one-to-one. -one. Now let's imagine that we didn't recognize that, or if we got some different numbers here, this is what we would do. We'd write Na, 4.5. We'd write O, 4.5. Hydrogen, 4.5. Now this is not the empirical formula yet. These are not whole number ratios, so this is not empirical. What we need to do is divide by the smallest. Now this works out nicely because they're all the same, so we divide by 4.5 across the board, and they each cancel out. This becomes a 1, this becomes a 1, this becomes a 1. So we rewrite our formula NaOH with all imaginary 1s. And this is sodium hydroxide. OH should jump out at you as one of those polyatomics that you should kind of remember, sodium hydroxide. So again, convert your masses to moles. Write your moles next to each of the elements and then divide through by the smallest. So this is our empirical formula.